Tennessee and Georgia Tech. Dillon Stadium in Knoxville, Tennessee. A renewal of one of the South's great football rivalries. There's head football coach Johnny Majors of the University of Tennessee leading his team through the human tee formed by the University of Tennessee band. Over 94,000 fans are on hand for this football game at Knoxville. Cloudy and overcast. Rain in the forecast. It is not now raining. For Tennessee, the Tri-Captains, 93, nearest you, Yanni Trepovnik. Lee North. And Mike L. Cofer. For Georgia Tech, Rob Horton, David Lutz, and Tom Stanford. That's Mike Cofer. As the referee gives Georgia Tech the option of calling the coin toss, which they do. And it is won by Georgia Tech. The engineers wish to receive, so Tennessee will defend the north goal. Not much wind, actually. As John Warren, a junior from Jessup, Georgia, for the University of Tennessee, will be kicking off. And so, Tennessee and Georgia Tech. And here comes Warren, and here's the kick downfield. Under the ball is Lavette, a freshman for Georgia Tech to the 10, 15, 20, gets outside 30, 35, carries the ball all the way up to the 36-yard line. And it's got to be first down and 10 to go. Fine punt return, I should say kickoff return, by Lavette. And the engineers go on offense. This is Kelly, a senior from Augusta, Georgia, the quarterback. Wizenant in motion. Kelly. Handoff with the football pounding straight ahead. This will be Cone for a gain of three yards. Second down and seven. Lavette, number 20, sweeping, turning. Moves for maybe five or six yards. Actually closer to four when they spot the ball. So it's third down and three yards to go. Coach Majors, and earlier you saw Coach Bill Curry of Georgia Tech. The ball shifting to the strength of the formation. As you see, there are two tight ends. Handoff, fumble, not so. Man is stopped short of the first down as Tennessee's Leonard Jackson, the middle guard, got in the flow, and so Georgia Tech gets Pierce into the football game to punt. Fine punter averaged 47 yards the week before against North Carolina. High punt, Galt asks for and makes the fair catch as Willie Galt takes the fair catch at the Tennessee 13-yard line. The balls will have senior Steve Alatori, number 16, at quarterback. Running out of the eye, he's back to throw. He's in trouble, pass out into the flat. Incomplete, almost intercepted. Wood almost picked it off, and he would have had clear sailing for a touchdown. As it is, second down 10, no score. Tennessee and Orange, Georgia Tech in the white jerseys. Pitch, Randall Morris. Good effort by Morris as he bangs it forward to the 19-yard line. Again on the play of seven yards, and it will be third down and three. Alatori to throw, in trouble. Alatori's gotta be dumped for a loss. Back down at the 17 yard line. And so Georgia Tech's aggressive defense has held, and so Jimmy Colquitt, the freshman from Knoxville, Tennessee, is on to punt for the Volunteers. Colquitt, high, long, spiraling punt, backing up, waving and making the fair catch, backpedaling his Westbrook. Punt is good for 52 yards. We pick it up with Georgia Tech in possession. First down at 10 at its 22-yard line. Through the right side, nice Levette for a gain of three. Second down and seven, ball resting right at the 25-yard uh, line. Nothing to nothing to score. In motion, Wisnett. Now Etheridge, the tight end, shifts right to left. And Georgia Tech runs that way behind the strength of the formation as Levette is met first by Carlton Peoples, number 19, and Daryl Harper, number 23. This time it's Levette. Little of any yardage there for him. Let's take a second look from the sideline. Tennis defense stiffens up and stops him. And again, it's Leonard Jackson in there. Chris Wamper helping out. Fourth down, two yards to go. 84 is Brian Ingram for Tennessee. 19 peoples and in number eight, Pierce. He'll be punting for Georgia Tech. Nothing and nothing to score. 
Pierce gets his putt away, and it's another fine one. Willie Gold under this one, juggles it. Comes to the near side, 30. Gold outside to the 32, and he's shoved back. As covering was Snell for Georgia Tech. Return of seven yards on the play. It's first down at 10. Nothing and nothing to score. The Volunteers have the ball at the 33-yard line. Alatori back to throw, setting up. Long pass down the middle. The pass is intercepted by Georgia Tech. It was intended for Anthony Hancock. It was intercepted by Brown. A second look at this pass by Steve Alatori on the post route to Anthony Hancock. Good protection, long pass. And there you see the interception by Brown. Fine defensive play by Brown, and Georgia Tech goes right back on offense. First down and 10, ball resting at the Tech 25-yard line. The score to Lanes, nothing to nothing. Mike Kelly, screen pass out into the flat. With it will be Ronnie Cohn, and Cohn comes pounding forward for the gain. 13-yard pickup, it's a first down. And that is the first first down of this football game. On either side, Robert Lovett to the outside. Pretty well played, very well played. Number one is Jenkins, number 23, Harper. Again on the play of only a yard. As Georgia Tech tries to get its offense in gear. Kelly, bootleg, blitz. He is going to be dropped. Number 23, the blitzing safety, Daryl Harper. Sacking the quarterback for Georgia Tech. A second look from the sideline. Tennessee guessing perfectly this time defensively. Kelly, bootleg, play action. Oh, there's Harper, and from the other side, it's Brian Ingram, and he's thrown for a loss. Of six yards, it's third down, 15. So Georgia Tech, third down and long. Kelly with a straight drop. Kelly's pass is far short. Might have been deflected at the line of scrimmage. It is incomplete, and once again, Georgia Tech faces a fourth down, and into the game comes Pierce. Pierce gets the putt away, high and long, spiraling down to Willie Galt on the fair catch. And so Tennessee goes on offense at its 21-yard line. The ball's put the ball in play at the first time at the 13, the 29, the 33, now the 21. Field position, all important. Excellent punting on both sides. Alatori, handoff, Randall Mars, a little wedge. Here he comes, knifing through for a gain on the play of five yards. Second down and five as Randall Morris finds a hole behind Steve Knight blocking on the left side. Tennessee to the line once again. Again it's Morris, and again he gets some ground, and this time he pounds it forward for seven yards, and a first down for Tennessee. First and ten for the Volunteers at the Tennessee 33-yard line. Strong side left for Tennessee against the five-man front. Counter draw, here it goes, and with the ball, this will be Doug Furness, the fullback, running room. Furness continues to grab up the field and moves for a gain of 24 yards before he's knocked down. A second look as the play gets underway at the 33-yard line. Nothing and nothing to score. Furness, there you see, countering back, big hole. Furness running, pounding, carrying the ball forward for a gain of 24 yards, and it's first down. Let's go to the end zone for a third look and check the blocking up front of Mayo and... North, Mayo wipes out two defenders, and here's Doug Furness, finally caught and written down. But Tennessee moves the ball to midfield. It's first down and 10 to go. Alatori, his team beginning to move on the ground against Georgia Tech. Alatori, handoff, Morris. Morris has some room. Morris struggles forward. And it's going to be for Tennessee... First down and 10 to go. Check that second down about a yard. Second down, less than a yard to go as Tennessee lines it up. Nothing and nothing remains the score. Here's the reverse. Anthony Hancock, he turns the corner. Hancock running with the football, moves it downfield for a gain of 16 yards. And Tennessee now has its first down. A second look from the sideline. Anthony Hancock turning the corner. And he carries the ball all the way to the Tech 17-yard line. So the balls have moved from there, 21, to the Engineers 17. It's first down 10. Tech in a five-man front against the balls who are doing this on the ground. Hand off. That's Alvin Tolls. Not very much there. A couple of yards, baby. Second down and eight. Ball moved to the 15. Score remains. Nothing, nothing. But Tennessee begins to threaten. 
up the middle this is Randall Morris and Morris moving over left guard picks up another two yards third down six at the 13. Here's Alator in the option. He's going to keep. He turns. He's got it. The 10. He carries it down for the first down for Tennessee. Steve Alator on the option finds the hole and dashes for the first at the six yard line. It's first and goal for Tennessee in a scoreless game. Carrying the ball, Morris, and he's knocked down by Horton after a two yard gain as the first quarter comes to a close. The score Tennessee nothing, Georgia Tech nothing. Now the Volunteers exchange goals. They'll be moving toward the north end of the football field. Second down goal, handoff Morris. Well, nothing there for Morris as Managazzi is there. Actually a loss on the play of a yard. Third down goal, ball moved back to the five-yard line. Tennessee trying to punch it in, a scoreless game. Alatori asking for quiet at the north end. Tennessee with two tight ends. Alatori bootleg in trouble. Pass is almost intercepted. Incomplete. Almost intercepted by Menegasi. So fourth down into the game for Tennessee. Fuad Reves with Olszewski to hold and Rumsey to snap for the field goal that is up. And it is good. Tennessee three, Georgia Tech nothing. There's Robert Levette. He'll be receiving the kickoff as John Warren will be kicking for Tennessee. And here it is, end over end kick, Lovett. Downs the ball in the end zone. Fine kick by John Warren. Tech goes on offense. First down and 10 to go. Mike Kelly at quarterback. Pass complete. This will be Wisner, and he is caught and Pounded down by Chris Wampler, the junior from Lenore City, Tennessee. Gain of three on the play, on the screen pass, second down seven. Tennessee jumping around on defense. Kelly sizing it up, takes the drop to throw. He's in trouble. Kelly comes out of there, however, but not any yardage on the play. He eluded the first sack attempt, ducking under to move it forward, losing about a yard on the play. It'll be third down, nine yards to go. Kelly again to throw. In trouble again. We'll run with the football. Kelly carries the ball for a first down past that 30-yard line. Great effort by Kelly. Kelly was being pressured, and he saw the middle open up, and he nudges the ball, as you see, just barely past that white stripe. That's all that's needed, of course, for the first down and 10 to go. Kelly, handoff, Cone. Cone for a couple, but Tennessee's there waiting, the middle of the line. Led by Leonard Jackson, the middle guard. Tennessee in a five-man front, back to throw Kelly. Kelly's pass downfield is complete. That was Thompson making the reception, immediately knocked down by Jenkins, but it's a 14-yard pickup and another first down for Georgia Tech. Ball resting now at the Tech 46-yard line. Tennessee in a 5-2, handoff left side. This is Cohn grinding up close to the 50-yard line. Stopped just short of midfield, so it's second down for Tech. Tennessee leading 3-0 in the first half of the game. Kelly, pass is deflected. Knocked down by Ricky Holt, the freshman defensive end. Third down, six to go. Kelly back to pass, and he's going to be sacked. Blasting through comes sophomore Reggie White from Chattanooga. A second look from the end zone as Kelly on third down. Looking to throw, but White fights off the blocker and slings him down for a loss on the play. Minus 12, it's fourth down 18. And so Pierce will be punting once more for Georgia Tech. The Yellow Jackets still unable to move the ball into Tennessee territory. Waving and making the fair catch, this is Willie Galt. Tennessee will have it at the Volunteer 16-yard line. First down, 10 to go. The Vols lead by a score of 3-0. Alatori brings his team to the line, hands off to Furness, starts right, cuts back to the left, and struggles forward for a gain of three. Second down, seven, ball now out to the 19-yard line of the Volunteers. Alatori, his team in the eye, back to throw is Alatori. Long, long pass downfield intended for Galt. It is incomplete. Galt tried to soar over the defender. 
who was Thurston, but the pass is incomplete, and it will be third down and seven to go. Hand off to Morris on a draw. The hole up the middle was pretty well clogged up, so Morris bends to the left side and is slammed down for no gain. Fourth down, seven, Colquitt to punt. Here's the punt by Colquitt, wobbly, under the ball, making the catch. There is Westbrook returning for a couple of yards. So Tech goes on offense, first down, 10 to go, back to throw. This is Kelly. Kelly is again dumped on the sack. This time it is Jackson who battles through to make the stop. On the play, Tech was guilty of illegal use of hands, so a 10-yard penalty is assessed. Five seconds left to go in the first half of the game as Kelly brings his team to the line, trailing by a score of three to nothing. Tennessee adjusts on defense, 47. That's Lamont Hole Jeffers. Back to throw is Kelly. Here's the long palm downfield. It is intercepted by Harper. Tennessee with the ball. Harper rejoining it. Up the east sideline. Cuts to the interior to the 40. Now he has the football at the 45. Moves behind a block to the 50 and is rolled down in Georgia Tech territory at the 48-yard line as the first half comes to a close. Let's take a second look at this pass interception and run back by Daryl Harper. Long throw by Kelly. Tennessee has the ball well played. Harper there with Tennessee's Bill Bates, and now they set up the convoy as Harper needs one block on the corner. There's the block, but somebody got him from behind as the first half comes to a close with the score, Tennessee 3, Georgia Tech nothing. So the second half will be getting underway. Georgia Tech will be kicking off. Rice is their kickoff person. And Tennessee will have Willie Galt. Here's the kick. It's very, very high. Galt waiting for it. Takes it at about the three. Back out to the five. And he gets to the ten. And that's it. A little short of the ten-yard line. So Tennessee deep in its own territory. The Volunteers with Alatori. Alatori, there's a busted play, and Alatori has to eat the ball for a loss. Somebody went the wrong way, loss of two yards, second down 12, Tennessee in the shadow of its goalpost, even though it is an overcast day. Alatori, his team in the eye formation, handoff this time to the fullback, and Furness grinds forward for five yards. Tennessee will have it third down and seven. Alatori back to throw in trouble, he's in the end zone. The ball laid down, and it's recovered for a touchdown by Georgia Tech. A second look. Horton is the man who recovers, and you'll see now Alatori fading. Here comes the pressure. He steps into the end zone, loses his balance as he puts the ball down, trying to regain his equilibrium. He left the ball, and Georgia Tech leads Tennessee by a score of 6-3. to three. Critical, critical turnover. And Tech suddenly is on top. And here is the extra point by Rice. It is up and good. Georgia Tech leads Tennessee 7-3 with 5.38 to go in the third period of the game. How suddenly the fortunes of football can change. And Georgia Tech will have Rice to kick off. And it was his excellent kickoff moments ago that back Tennessee up deep. Here's another high one. Goss going to run it out of the end zone. 5, 10, 15, 20. Oh, he is stripped just about when he was going to burst free. But Tennessee has the ball at its 21. And Alatori just moments ago fumbling away the ball for a tech touchdown in the Tennessee end zone is back at quarterback. Alatori play action. Pass downfield. Complete. Mike Miller. He's jolted after he stepped out of bounds, but Tennessee will have it first down and 10 to go. A second look now as Alatori. You'll see the fake to, to Morris. And there's the pass to Mike Miller. And Tennessee will have it first down and 10 to go at the 35-yard line. First down, 10. Out to the near side to throw. This will be Alatori. The pass. It's complete. Willie Gall, who had to turn to make the catch thrown slightly behind him. But he retains possession, and Tennessee picks up another first down. That gain for 15 yards. Handoff. Miller starts into the inside. Cuts back on the 
sweep, and he carries it all upfield for a gain, which should be enough for the first down. We'll wait and see. It is first down and 10 to go on a 17-yard pickup by Randall Morris. Let's go to the sideline for a second look. A great cut by Morris. There you see him starting. The whole clock, he steps outside. Another great move to the inside. He goes for 17 yards and tells us he's got it first and 10 in Georgia Tech territory. Change that at midfield. Just short. Well, it's Tennessee trailing 7-3. to three. And pounding forward this time comes Randall Morris. Tennessee moving with the ball. It's resting at the 28-yard line of Georgia Tech as the play got underway at the 33. Alatori, keeper, turning. Alatori first down, upended. But the Volunteers have a first on a nine-yard pickup on the keep right by Alatori. A second look from the end zone. Great move, Alatori. He's tripped up at the 19-yard line, and Tennessee will have it first down and 10 to go. Seven to three, Tech leading, but Tennessee is threatening. As they've taken the kickoff and they move downfield with it. Alatori handoff with the ball through the left side of the line, slants. Randall Morris, he picks up three yards on the play. Second down and seven at the 16. Alatori wants to throw, but he's in trouble and he is going to be dumped. Probably the option to the right side. He had somebody behind him, thought better of making the pitch and takes a two yard loss. Alatori now, here's the pass. It is complete by two Hancock, but Hancock will get nothing. Actually, no gain on the play. As the pass into the flat was complete, and here is Reves to attempt a 38-yard field goal. The kick is up, and it is no good. Well, you saw it caught in the south end zone, but the kick was wide to the right side. And to score remains, Georgia Tech 7. Tennessee three. Tech with the ball, trying now to hold on to the ball and use up as much of the clock as they possibly can. Lovett sweeping the left side for a gain of four yards. Second down and six at the 25. Tech in Tech territory. The pass is deflected, I think, by somebody at the line of scrimmage. It was intended for Wizenut. It's incomplete. Third and six. Again, Kelly with the drop. Here's the pass. It is overthrown. Intended for Thompson, defending for Tennessee Peoples. And Tech has it fourth down. Pierce will be punting. As the punt by Pierce is in the air. And it's Willie Goff, waving for and making the fair catch. Tennessee will have the ball at the 23-yard line, 43-yard punt by the consistent Pierce. Tennessee trails in the game. Georgia Tech 7, Tennessee 3. The ball's on offense. Furness moving through the left side of the line. Rams it forward for a pickup of five yards. Now it's Alatori on a, without a huddle, long pass is complete! Darrell Wilson. A second look. Without a huddle, Tennessee catches Tech, and there's a beautiful, beautiful catch by Darrell Wilson from Bristol, Tennessee. as the third period comes to a close with that play, and the score remains Georgia Tech 7, Tennessee 3. What a catch by Wilson. Alatori brings his team now as Tennessee's moving again toward the north end of the football field. Alatori under pressure. He is hit just as he releases the football, and it is caught in midair. Intercepted by Bradley. To the end zone. It matters not whether he was actually passing. Let's see if he, yes, he had started forward, but the ball is knocked into the air by the man who got Alatory from the rear and was picked off by Bradley. So whether it's an intercepted pass or a recovered fumble, it's Georgia Tech's ball. Turnover again, and Tech leading seven to three, sensing the chance to win the game, if they can hold on. Fourth period just getting underway. Kelly, here's the pitch, Levette at the corner. Runs out of room as he's forced out of bounds. But he picks up some six yards on the play. It's second down and four yards to go. Tech with the ball. Pitch. 
with it Lovett. Lovett at the corner. Turns inside and fights forward. Very close to a first down. It is a first down for Georgia Tech. Right at its 40-yard line. Tech leading 7-3. to three. Counter draw with the ball cold through the left side of the line out to the 45-yard line. As Tech continues to move with the ball and the clock continues to move and move and move. Tech 7, Tennessee 3. Pitch Levette at the corner. Slides inside. He's jolted. Battling close to the 50-yard line. And as you see, the measurement shows it's just short. Third down upcoming. Georgia Tech 7, Tennessee 3, 94,000 fans at Thielen Stadium in Knoxville. An exciting football game. It's been a defensive struggle. Here, trying for the first down is Levette. I think he got it. It is first down and 10 to go for Georgia Tech. So the engineers hold on to the ball. This is Allen into the football game, and he comes pounding on a counter over the left side of the line, moving for a gain of right at four yards. Kelly, keeper, turns. Kelly moves the ball down into Tennessee territory. It'll be third down and a couple of yards to go. Kelly to the near side. Looking, here's the pass. It is complete. Georgia Tech with the ball. Carrying it downfield was Wilkins. A second look at the pass play. And Tech is deep in Tennessee territory. Here will be Kelly. Running out of room there. Popping open Wilkins. The pass completed and he carries the ball downfield. And Georgia Tech leading 7-3. Moves deeper and deeper into Tennessee territory. Ball spotted at the 22-yard line. Tech 7, Tennessee 3. That's the score. Kelly, handoff. Nothing at all. Leonard Jackson. Stopping Allen for no gain. It'll be second down and 10. Tech in field goal range for sure. In motion, Levett to the left side. Tennessee fading a blitz. Here it comes. Here's Kelly back to throw. He's pumping. He throws into the end zone. The pass is intercepted. Bill Bates picks it off for Tennessee. A second look. You see Tennessee jumping around, trying to unnerve Kelly. Pumped once. Now here's the pass. And there is Bates in perfect position for the interception. And Tennessee stops the drive, and the Volunteers get the ball. Bill Bates, number 40, a junior from Knoxville, with the interception. Tennessee first down at 10 at its 20-yard line. Alatori back to throw. Rolling right will run, 25. Dives it out to the 28-yard line. It'll be second down two. Eight-yard pickup by Alatori. The Volunteers trail seven to three. Eye formation. Alatori handoff. Struggling forward comes Morris for a yard. It'll be short of a first by one yard. Third down one. Tennessee handoff. Furnace stopped. He works himself free. He's got a first down. And then a penalty marker is down on the play. A second look at the run by Furnace. Good effort by Furnace. He stopped there, and he sort of twists off. And you see, there's the penalty. A late hit against Alatori by Georgia Tech defensively. And a 15-yard personal foul penalty stepped off against the engineers for the late hit. First and 10, Tennessee at the volunteer 49-yard line. Tennessee sets that slot to the left side of the I formation against a four-man Tech front. Back to throw. Alatori complete out there. With it as far as cuts to the inside. He's tackled after a gain of nine yards. So it's second down and one for Tennessee. Second down short against a five-man front. Alatori fakes. Back to throw. Long pass across the middle. It is complete. Hancock into the end zone for the Tennessee touchdown. A second look. And watch the fake by Alatori to Morris right there, holding the line. Then the long pass by Alatori to Hancock. Over the shoulder catch. Touchdown, Tennessee. Tennessee leads 9-7. A third look from the sideline. 
Tech expecting the run. Alatori arching the ball. There's Hancock. Beautiful catch. Beautiful throw. Touchdown, Tennessee. Holding will be Oshevsky. The crowd going wild as Tennessee comes from behind. And Tennessee leads Tech by a score of 9-7. to seven. The extra point by Raves is good. Tennessee 10, Georgia Tech 7, fourth period of the game nearing the conclusion. Tennessee marching 80 yards after the pass interception in the end zone by Bates. Throttled Georgia Tech. And Tennessee comes marching downfield to grab the lead. Kickoff, Levette. Oh, he's hit by Peoples. As Tennessee's defense picks up. We should say Tennessee's offense picks up everybody, and the defense is out there. Tech short of its 20-yard line. Kelly, the quarterback. Splitting the running backs. Pitch into the boundary. With it is Levette. Levette. Great fumbles the ball, and Tech recovers it. Great, great play by Gwynn. Gain on the play of eight yards. And it's going to be second down, too. That's Cole. Nothing doing. He stopped for no gain. Ricky Holt. Tech third down. Two to go. Trailing. Handoff Cole. He is stopped. He twists free. Still on his feet. He's running with the football. Cole to the outside 30. There he carries the ball. Up to the midfield stripe. Carries it all the way down to the Tennessee 44-yard line. Brilliant play by Cole. It appeared that he had been stopped. But he did not give up, and he comes downfield, and Tech trailing by three. Has the ball in Tennessee territory, running with it, Levette. And Levette battles the ball down inside Tennessee's 40-yard line. Tennessee seven, leading by a score of 10 to seven. Back to throw is Kelly, pumps it out into the flat, taken there by Georgia Tech, and moving with the ball after the reception was Levette. But then Tennessee's Kelly uh, is there to throw Kelly for a loss on the play. Kelly. Here he comes around the corner, and he is nailed as he gets to the 26-yard line. A second look at this play, and I think Kelly is shaken up. Kelly. Tackled. Oh, and the shoulder bangs the turf. And Kelly is injured on the play. Fine senior quarterback. And you can see that he is injured. Coach Johnny Majors of the Volunteers, his team leading 10 to 7. And so Georgia Tech has to substitute. Out goes Kelly. On comes Taylor. Taylor, the new quarterback. Pitch Levette trying the sweep. Tennessee stringing it out, making the play as Levette is knocked down and he's got to be about a yard short of the first. Tech will go for it. First, fourth down a yard. Fumble! It was a fourth down play. And Taylor, the new quarterback, fumbling the snap. Tennessee has recovered. And the Volunteers defeat Georgia Tech. The final score, Tennessee 10, Georgia Tech 7. In a victory like this, of course, there are many stars. One of those for Tennessee was fullback Doug Furness. Doug got a chance to play quite a bit against Georgia Tech. Did quite well. Congratulations. Thanks a lot. Appreciate it. Tell us about the offense performance, your thoughts, and the offensive line. I thought the line did real well. I thought a uh, little bit of first. I don't know. We seemed like we were a little, little slow getting started, and then, and then uh, we get gelling. Things go along. Uh, I thought the offense. I don't, I don't know. I, I get. We just kept. You know, somebody make a mistake. Somebody blitz, and it just we couldn't all get together until them two drives. A couple of times it looked like when you ran the football, especially the quick hitter up the middle, you were wide open. What kind of play was that, and why were you so wide open? It was a, a kind of like a fake sweep. The, they faked the Randall going one way and hand the ball off to me, and I cut back, cut back offside pursuit. And the, the offside line, they, the linemen just did their job. Ball control is the key, and Tennessee was able to keep the ball away from Kelly quite a bit. Yeah, that's that's right. There on that last drive, everybody was was you know starting to look around a little bit, but I knew the defense would come up. They played, I don't know, they we should have won 40 another way the defense played if the offense could play like defense does. Big weapon in the game for Tennessee punter Jimmy Caulfield. Jimmy, congratulations, excellent performance. Thank you, coach. I felt real confident today in my punting. I concentrated a little better and had a little bit better consistency. You really did. You booted one. I don't think I can give you credit for it. 72 yards, and you're up around 60. Have you ever had a game where you're that consistent? 
No, I think last, well, my high school year, I had one that was about like that, but not quite this well. But I'm pleased with what my performance today, but I need to improve more on my hang time and just get a little better. It was a hard-hitting football game. One of the guys was out there getting a bunch of licks and, and administering a few was Carlton Peoples, defensive back. Carlton, a hard-hitting football game. Yes, very much so. It was a defensive game all the way around. George Tech has an excellent defense, which they demonstrated, and we ourselves just played up the par when the time came. Georgia Tech, diversified offense, the running backs, Levette and Cohn, very good. Very much so. I had to give him, take my head off to the bed. He's going to be a good running back, you know, being a freshman and all. He made some very good plays, and he was a factor to Georgia Tech today. Tennessee, though, defensively, you're able to control Kelly pretty much. Yes, well, we had a lot more blisters today on Kelly, which gave us the chance to play a lot more man and put more pressure on him. Overall, it paid off. So what you're saying is you try to confuse Kelly, right? And it worked. Not really try to, trying to confuse him. It was just the idea we try to put pressure on him. Just we didn't want to give him all day to throw back there. That's all. Another defensive standout for the Volunteers, Reggie White from Chattanooga. Reggie, tell me about the football game. Well, uh, we, we played a real good game, I feel. And, uh, we just went out there and played as hard as we could. And we, we performed better than we ever have, I believe. And uh, we're just going to try to take that into the Alabama game. Best defensive effort of the year, you think? I think it is because we, we, we stopped Georgia Tech the first half, and they came out and did a good job the second half. And uh, we just dug down inside and uh, stopped them when they got close to the end zone. Georgia Tech was able to move the ball in the second half. Did they make any major, major adjustments in the second half? No, they didn't make any adjustments. They just ran the same plays that they, they improved on the plays that they ran. And uh, we, uh, we knew we had to stop them down in the clinches, down by the uh, goal line, and uh, that's what we did. That was Tennessee quarterback Steve Alatore. Steve took a while to get things cranked up, didn't it? He sure did, but I tell you, we won the football game, and that's what really counts. Uh, down there, when we really needed it, we, we got it. And, I think it shows the kind of character that this football team has. And uh, all week long, you know, we knew Georgia Tech was going to play us tough and play us for four quarters. And, and uh, I, I felt it was going to be a close game, and that's exactly what we, what the outcome was. It was a close game, but, but we came out on top. Georgia Tech seemed to be giving you different looks and all kinds of different defenses that might have caused you some problems. Well, you know, they're a fine football team. They were jumping around a little bit and, and disguised their coverages very, very well. So it was kind of hard to pick up at times, but uh, we got after them pretty good, too, and we're down there when we needed it. And, uh, uh, like I said before, Georgia Tech's a final football team, and, and they're going to surprise some people this year. A big play of the game. You to Anthony Hancock, 42 yards. How did it work? Well, basically what it was was an isolation play and fake up the middle, and Tony ran a post. And I tell you, it was a great fake for Randall Morris. He really hold, uh, held the line in there, and the free safety bit on, bit on the fake, and, and the line gave me a lot of time to throw the football, and Tony ran in a good, good pattern on the post move, and, and I just laid it out there for him. It was a great catch by Tony. The guy on the receiving end of Alatori's touchdown pass, Anthony Hancock. Congratulations, Anthony. Thank you. When you look at it, can you describe how the play opened up and uh, why did, how did you recognize the, the opening in the scene? Well, it was, they were playing cover two, and the cornerback was playing about eight yards away, and the free safety, I guess, came up with a fake, and I just ran right by the cornerback. It appears like your foot is fully healed now. You seem like you're going full steam. Well, it's healed. But, uh, you know, I'm still having a little difficulty with it right now because I'm not, it's not as strong as I want it to be right now. But I think with more practice and patience, you know, it'll be all right. Big win for the Volunteers against Georgia Tech. Yes, it was. You know, I had to praise our defense once again, and you had to praise the Lord also for, you know, giving us the strength to play to our best of our abilities. Second straight game, Tennessee wins at 10-7 to here at Neyland Stadium, this time over Georgia Tech. Next week to Birmingham to play Alabama. This is Bob Kessling in the Tennessee locker room.